Hello YouTube, today in my video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Adobe Fireworks CS3. And first off, I will be showing you guys pretty much how to make a really basic icon for YouTube. And this program is not free, I don't believe. I think you have to download it and pay money. So first what you're going to do is make it 88 by 88 because that's the display size for the YouTube picture. So this will give you the best pretty much quality. So we're going to choose that. Then we're going to choose insert new shape. Now, you don't have to have that. I usually don't do that. But what you're going to want to do is get the text. And this is going to be a very, very simple icon like the one I have here it's going to be simple this is very simple to make so first off what we're going to do is type in your logo and if you want to have studios then you're just going to type in studios so there we go and let's go there we go so now we have that done then we're going to space that about there. Maybe center this too. Let's just choose center. Now I'm, I'm spacing them apart because I don't know which effects we're going to use. So once you type that in, whatever you want your logo to be, and then studios if you want that, you're going to click assets and they're going to go down. Make sure you're on the styles and you're going to choose something you want. Now let's say this is what you want. It would look like that. Very, very easy to make. And you can make them look really professional if you want. The only thing I don't like about Adobe is it <coughs> you can't double things, like you can't I can't add this effect and it could because it erases the other. So you can only choose one effect at a time. So that's something I don't like about it. But let's say you want something like this. I don't know if this one is readable because it really doesn't look like that. There's something that you probably won't use because it's not really readable. But you could use something like this. This is kind of like a shadowish effect. So this is really all you have to do it's pretty easy to use once you get into it you'll learn how to do more advanced things you just sort of gotta mess around and stuff so there's a lot of options to this program lots of options like the symbol properties there's just so many options so just sort of mess around with it and just have fun and thanks for watching subscribe see ya